Hi, today I'd like to show you how to play Freebird by Leonard Skinnerd. It can seem like an intimidating tune, but actually it isn't very hard at all. I'm tuned to G, low G, D in the middle, high G. Since this is a beginner video, I'll mention that you should always mute behind your slide and hold your slide perpendicular, right over the slide mark. Um, and you can put it on any finger you want. First finger doesn't work so good because you can't mute behind it. Otherwise, there you are. And the chords, if you're looking for them, are very straight ahead. Uh, 000 is G. G sharp is 1. So 2 is A. A sharp is 3. B is 4. C is 5. There's no real B sharp or B sharp and C as the same fret. C sharp, 6. D. 7, D sharp, 8, E, 9, 10 is F, no real E sharp, and then uh, 11 is F sharp, and then G again on the 12th fret. So we're going to do the first progression starting on the 12th fret with G, because it kind of sounds nice if we descend, meaning we go down the neck. So here we are at 12. That's twice. And then at 11, we're going to do a pinch. And just pinch the two outside strings. And then we're going to go down to E on the 9th fret and play it four times. We're going to go up one fret to F and play it twice. Then we're going to go down to C on the 5th fret play it twice. And then go to D and play it four times. Now I'm using a very, very clean sound so you can hear exactly what I'm doing. It's not necessarily what I do. I was going to play the actual song. So here we are, up on G. So I'll write that out in a tab for you. And that is how the song starts. Actually, when it starts at the very beginning, you can just play each thing once. If you're playing along with it, it's a little slower and they got the organ going there. And then when the solo starts, it comes up to, up to speed. So you play it twice while the solo's going, four times for a verse. The last line of the verse, after it goes F, C, D, it does it three more times. So I'm not going to play the whole thing, we'll be here forever. It does it three more times and then it goes back to the solo at the beginning of the song. Once you know this, you certainly don't have to play it the way I'm playing it right now. You might want to strum it, do the pinch, and strum, or you might want to finger pick it. I'm just going thumb, index, middle, index. But you can make it anything that you like that goes with the song as far as you're concerned. Now you go through everything that we just did, and the second time you come to the second verse, at the end of the second verse it does the tag thing again, which is F, C, D, does it three more times, and then it does it one more time, very intensely. There. And then it goes into the jam at the end, which is G open G that's A sharp or B flat and then C and 
and why I said or B flat. If you're going thinking of going up, then here's A. One fret up would be A sharp. Here's B. One fret down would be B flat. So the frets that are sharp have two names actually. And it basically does that for like a very long time, very long jam, and doesn't do anything out, and it fades out. So that's actually all you need to play that entire song. Okay? I'll play it one more time for you, just uh, the first part. And just don't forget the tag, which is F. C. And after the second verse, we do that an extra time and go into the jam at the end. Okay, have a great day. Hope that works for you. Bye.